San Francisco 49ers quarterback Colin Kaepernick, as we just saw with the ESPYs, had an incredible wardrobe, but now he's taking some heat for wearing a Miami Dolphins hat. Navarro Bowman had this to say, and then we'll get into JR and uh, uh, Ben's take on all this. This is a huge mistake by Cap. I'm sure he understands that now. In his defense, we're young. In our era these days, we like to match our snapbacks with our outfits, snapbacks and tattoos. The hats now these days are very important to the outfit. So Cap, I understand what you did, but let's stay away from the NFL teams, stick to NBA, go to college, or the baseball hats. Then USA Today wisely points out, this is not even the worst hat worn this summer. The Pouncy Twins wore Free Hernandez hats. That's right. Which are by far the dumbest and worst thing, worst hat you could ever wear, at least <laughs> for the time being and uh, ever. So then Kaepernick fired back on Instagram with this picture right here and that dumb smirk. <laughs> this is this the hat y'all mad at? I'm going to wear what I want regardless of what you think. All you need to worry about is the fact that I grind for my teammates in the 49ers. I plan on doing this until they won't let me in the building. Hashtag ridiculous. Hashtag y'all must be bored. Hashtag respect. I threw in the last <laughs> one just to woo Ben. And then uh, very quickly, Pro Football Talk points out that Jim Harbaugh, when he was with the Chargers, uh, criticized a media member for wearing a 49ers sweatshirt and said, I'm not taking any questions from you. You're in a Chargers facility. Why are you wearing a 49ers sweatshirt? And Barry Bonds was criticized when he was in Pittsburgh for wearing a Los Angeles Kings jacket. So is it offensive to 49ers fans? Ben, I will start with you. Offensive? I mean, no, get over it, for the love of God. But Navarro Bowman is not a fan. Navarro Bowman is a significant member of the defense. Yes. And so... Like, and what Kaepernick blew was an opportunity to resp respond in the same sort of even-handed fun, like, because Navarro was like, hey, I got the idea. He's styling. He's trying to dress. Let's go with hockey, basket let's go with hockey basketball or baseball or college for that and not another NFL team. And he, all he had to say was, uh, I hear you. I'll stick with those because I'm a Niner for life. Didn't mean no disrespect. Totally. But yeah. instead, he's like, like, nobody's like, yeah, you, you play. That said... The fact that he's wearing a dolphin hat is totally irrelevant. Why is it irrelevant? It's a, it's, it's, it's a fellow team in their sport. Yeah, I know, it's a team I, that they could face. It's just a hat. That's the fan perspective. <laughs> I know, but I mean, that's a dumb perspective. I mean, well, fans are dumb. I okay, mean. Okay, well, I mean, it's just a hat. It's just a hat. But that said, Kaepernick, uh, I would have handled it. Would that it be more offensive if he wore, like, uh, I don't know, a bitter rival's hat? Yeah, I mean, if he were in a, in a Seahawks hat, I suppose that would be a little more troubling. A couple points about it. Uh, number one, it's within the same sport, so it's stupid. Um, you shouldn't have done that. Number two, Dolphins, like what are they, competitive? <laughs> like what difference does it make? Like if he wore like a Cowboys hat or a Seattle hat, they're in the same division, right. that's really dumb, right? But the Dolphins, what is the chance to do? What are they gonna beat the Dolphins in the Super Bowl? <laughs> okay, so if you wore a Heat hat, I'd say totally not guilty. Dolphins hat is partially guilty, but the flip side is who gives a shit? No, he, it, Jake has exactly my argument, it, which is you shouldn't do it, but who gives a shit? Right. Uh, okay. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Nothing to get butt hurt over. Just <laughs> calm down, right? And well, fans like, get butt hurt easily. I, mean, I, I know. I yeah. know. Like, if if a Steeler wore like a, a brown hat or a Bengal hat or a like Raven if you wore hat. a Ravens hat, that's stupid. Don't do that. What are you doing? That's mixed loyalties, right? He wears like a Arizona hat. I'm like, whatever, dude. Jr. Jr. Are you offended? Are you hating on Colin Kaepernick for wearing the bright green and orange hat of the Miami Dolphins? Uh, no, but the thing is, I, that's what I'm saying. I, I think we, we get that, um, that there's offense taken for it. Because if it's a job and you're basically wearing the apparel of another business, like this is an ownership. This is a, this is a group where they're paid to try and, first off, push merchandise for that owner and that, that team or whoever's making money off of the merchandise, the makers of the merchandise and everything like that. And he's kind of pushing it. He's a big name. Right. So if you're pushing it for another team, if I am part of a 49ers organization, I'm thinking from a business standpoint, I'm like, damn, dude, why are you pushing money for another organization? Absolutely. It's, these, believe it or not, I mean, not believe it or not, but as much as we probably dislike it, business is the first thing about uh, sports now. It's such a huge industry. Um, but as far as if he's showing disloyalty, that's a fan thing, which you have to care about as well. It's stupid. So would you be offended? Care about it. Would you be offended if, like, the most Seahawk player in the past year, mm -hmm. and is going to be the most Seahawk player in the next ten years, Russell Wilson, Russell who, Wilson, who ends every interview with? What does he end the interview with? Go Hawks. Oh yeah, right, go right. Hawks. Yeah, right. So if he were to wear another team's uh, hat. Or, not, yeah, you know, a hat. We'll stay with a hat. Mm -hmm. 
I mean, he is the most Seahawk loyal guy, is what it seems like, mm-hmm. for saying that after every interview. You know, uh, the would you be hey, would you be offended if you were a fan of the Seahawks and then he wore some other team's hat? If you wore like the Rams hat, yeah, because I'm a Rams fan. So Seahawk, I'd be, I'd be like, what was that about? That's it. That's weird. Yeah, because like, it's it is odd. Uh, but what, this is the aspect I think you were looking for. Yeah. Um, this is, I mean, I know Colin Kaepernick is a mixed guy. He's a mixed race race, race guy. But um, what uh, what black folks have been trying for years to convince white people of is we don't care what the hat says. So there's some black folks who don't watch sports at all, but they will wear a Yankees hat. Yes. Because it's, and a red Yankees hat because it's an off-colored Yankees hat. You're like, oh, this is, this is cool. It has NY on it. It's red. It goes with my right, outfit. Right, right. It's cool. It works. That's that's the first priority. We don't walk around going, "Whoa, go Yankees!" So, <laughs> you know, I learned you know, I learned a long time ago. Like when I see a black guy wearing an A's hat, I know now not to go, "Hey, are you an A's fan?" <laughs> because, <laughs> it happens it. so you, much. Why it's, not? It's green and gold. You like the colors, right? I mean, Ed, to be honest, Colin Kaepernick. What other team is he going to get to get you teal know, and orange to match his outfit? You know, Only the Dolphins. You know what? Don't, we'll, don't, don't wear teal and orange then. <laughs> There's an idea for you. You know, it's funny. Colors. Well, I, but, I, you know, I have 150 hats, maybe mm-hmm. 200 hats. And I, I, I totally pick them out partially by what I'm wearing. Like, it totally matters. And I never thought I'd do that. But, I mean, I, when I pick out a hat and then I look down at my shirt and I'm like, no, this one is not for today. Um, I mean, a lot of them are black, so it doesn't matter. But, yeah, so, I mean, I got it. I got it, too. I mean, I have I have I have. Again, I have a bunch of A's hats, but every other hat I have is a team I don't give a shit about.